welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a video that I'm super excited about doing. I'm going to be doing the Super Bowl party DIY. Um, so basically I'm just going to be doing a bunch of different DIYs, three exactly, um, that have to do with the Super Bowl to sort of spice up your Super Bowl party a bit. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is this awesome little silverware holder mason jar football. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how to make your own bingo cards for when the commercials are playing and you like see one, you see a yogurt commercial, check it off, athlete spokesperson, check it off and you're going to try to get five in a row. And this super awesome football chain that you can hang up on your fireplace or along your mantle or TV to cheer on your favorite team. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you will need for this DIY is just some brown and white paint. The next things that you will need are some paper towel or toilet paper rolls, some scotch tape, and some scissors. So the first thing that you're going to do is just take your paper towel rolls. You can also use wrapping paper rolls if you have them. I did not have any because it's not really near the holidays or anything, so I just had to use these. Um, and you kind of want to make sure, make them not as flat. You want them to be as like, round as possible. So you're just going to do that, and then you want to take your scissors and find a place where it sort of has, is like folded or creased, and just cut along there. So now all of my paper towel rolls are just cut long ways, and then I'm just going to take my little palette, and you can use whatever you want to put the paint on, and you're just going to start by taking your brown paint. And squirting some in there. So just dab a little bit in there and take this and start painting it a nice football looking brown. So now what you want to do is just continue painting. So once your toilet paper rolls are dry, this one literally only took about two minutes to dry. So what you're going to do is you're just going to space out your cutting so you're going to cut little strips that are about an inch wide. And you're just going to do that with all of them. So now you just want to lay all your strips out and take some of your white paint and just pour some of that into your palette. So now I'm just going to take this little brush. I don't know if you can see it, but I got this in a foam brush packet. And I'm going to dip it into my white paint. I'm going to take one of the strips and flatten it out and start painting some laces on the football and just start adding the little other parts of the laces. You're just going to do that for the rest of the little strips. Now all of my little football strips and their laces are completely dry. You're just going to take it and tape it so you just have a little link of a chain. And then you're just going to take your next one and instead of doing the same thing, you're going to do the almost the same thing, but you're going to stick it through this one and tape it. So you're just going to continue this process. Um, until your chain is the desired length that you want. For this DIY, all you are going to need is a computer and a printer. So right now I'm on my main Pinterest and what I'm just going to do is take my... I just copied and pasted it and so I just copied and pasted Super Bowl Commercial Bingo Printable. So I found a free printable from buzzbuzzbingo.com so what I'm going to do is just take this and print it. Okay so basically what I did was just I made it comes with like five sheets and so I just made four copies so the last thing that you're going to need for this final DIY is a sheet of brown construction paper any size mason jar a white paper scrap, some scissors, and a glue stick. 
So the first thing you're going to do is just take the top off of your mason jar. And the great thing about this DIY is that you can reuse the mason jar for anything um, because we're not actually painting it. We're just using um, car construction paper. So now you're just going to take your construction paper and your scissors and you are going to take your construction paper and curl it around sort of like this and stick it in your mason jar. So you're just going to take it and then you're going to take a pencil or something. I'm just going to take this little paintbrush and just use it as like a little guideline to know where I'm going to cut it. So I trimmed my paper to be a perfect size. And so now I'm just going to carefully take it out of the mason jar and I'm going to cut a little bit off so it still goes in there. And then you're just going to use a little bit of tape or you can use your glue stick to just tape or glue this together. So I trimmed my paper to be a perfect size, and so now I'm just going to carefully take it out of the mason jar, and I'm going to cut a little bit off, so it still goes in there. And then you're just going to use a little bit of tape, or you can use your glue stick, to just tape or glue this together. Once you finish taping it, you're just going to take your white scratch paper, and this one's a little bit folded up, but I just got it from the recycling bin, and I'm just going to cut a little slip of paper that's got an inch or so wide. And so this is going to be the laces, and so I'm just going to kind of measure it to see how big it should be. And what you want to do is just Cut it out so it's almost like, looks sort of like laces. This is about what you want it to look like and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and so we're just going to take our glue stick and okay. And then find the opposite side of the tape and just press it down. So you, you want this to be on the back and this to be on the front. And so if you want, you can just take a little piece of tape to cover the top. Make sure it stays, but that's up to you. And then once you're finished, you can just pop your little football thing in there. This is a perfect place to put like silverware or something um, for the big game. And so I just think this is so cute and it's super simple. And also when you're finished, you can just take out the silverware or whatever you're putting in there and um, take out the paper and then you can use it for a different DIY. So it's a super awesome reusable DIY that will make your Super Bowl party so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make. And as you can probably tell, I'm rooting for the Broncos. Um, they're my favorite team. And so I was super excited when I got to the Super Bowl. And I figured that I might as well make a video um, to sort of get some good ideas for you guys and for me for my Super Bowl party. So I hope these were helpful. And if you guys try any of these out, please comment down below to let me know how they worked out. And um, if you like this video, please give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. One thing I forgot to mention was that I want you guys to comment down below who you think is going to win Super Bowl 50, the Broncos or the Panthers.